Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this video we're going to go over groups and how to manipulate groups in 3DS. So here I have my Farnsworth house. Um, I modeled it in a different program and I imported it in here to uh, render it solely and I'm not going to be modeling more to it really or manipulating it a lot. So I'm just going to select all of it and then group them. Go up to this group drop down and say group. Uh, this will group them all together so I'm not going to uh, m be moving it and I can select them all at, all at once now. So the group name, it'll say group 01 or let you put in your own. I would put in my own so I'll say Farnsworth and then I'll go underscore G and uh, that will just tell me that this is a group and uh, not just your average object in uh, the scene so I can actually go uh, into it a little bit more and manipulate it. So say okay and you can see that when it's selected, it'll have these uh, braces all around it. It's kind of a bounding box that shows you um, everything that's in the group. And then over in the modify panel, uh, with it selected, it'll say Farnsworth G. And uh, you can you know, say group or uh, whatever you want to just kind of remind you that uh, it is a group. So then when you come back and click on it, um, it'll all be all selected. And then you can move it, scale, or transform it. Um, all at once. So say if uh, I want to go in and edit it all at, um, a few all these columns, I want to uh, change the, uh, um, the color for all the columns. I could ungroup it by selecting it and going down to group and ungroup or I can just momentarily open it. You can open a group uh, and close it um, kind of at will without really changing the group. So I'll open it, and now you can see that those white bars have turned to uh, pink pink ones. So I can select the pink ones, and then uh, move the entire group at once, or I can just select individual objects in here. So I could select all of the uh, columns by holding down the control key. and you know, do all of my modeling um, in the group without even um, ungrouping it. So now that I have all those selected, I can go up to the color, the modify panel, and then color it a different color. Um, I'll just go with uh, this blue, say OK. And then I've changed all those, and they're all the same color. Um, if I needed to move something, like uh, say this slab was not in the right place, I could edit that as well individually. Um, that's not what I want to do, so I'll just control Z to get out of that. And then I'll go back up to group, uh, select an object in the group, and then go up to group, and then close. And then now the group is uh, closed, and I can only you know, manipulate the whole in entire thing at once. So groups are a great way, especially if you're importing multiple objects and multiple things into one scene. A uh, great way of keeping your uh, geometry organized and nice and clean.